Hi, in this lecture, I'm going to talk about unsaturated hydraulic conductivity. And this is a part of our bachelor level course on groundwater hydrology, okay? Uh, although the focus of our course is on saturated flow, I thought it would not harm to say a few words about unsaturated condition and unsaturated hydraulic conductivity, okay? So as you can imagine when the system, when the porous medium is saturated, like you have here, in the first picture on the left, uh, the pores conduct at the maximum rate. But when, it, when, when the porous medium desaturates or when the condition is unsaturated, uh, there will be less uh, cross section basically available for water flow. There will be less pathways available for water flow. Therefore, the hydraulic conductivity of the porous medium decreases. Okay, and the, the Dorsey's law, which was originally proposed for the saturated flow, was extended by Buckingham to describe flow under unsaturated condition. Okay, so Buckingham's main assumption was that the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity, the hydraulic conductivity under the unsaturated condition, uh, is a function of the metric potential or water content. As you know, metric potential and water content, they are related. The less is the water content, the, the, the more negative is the metric potential, okay? So here, flow, the Q, um, uh, through the unsaturated uh, porous medium, uh, the, through the unsaturated porous medium is equal to minus KH times delta H over delta Z, okay? And here, KH is the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity, and delta H is the, uh, delta H over delta Z is the hydraulic gradients, okay? Which actually has two components. One is the uh, metric potential, that is the H here, the lowercase h, and Z is the gravitational head, okay? So pay attention here that since you're dealing with the unsaturated condition, then there is no pressure potential anymore because uh, the deposit the, that, that is equal, uh, as we discussed in the one of the previous lectures, through the unsaturated zone, the, the, the pressure potential is equal to zero and you have negative pressure. Okay, so the, the, the capital H has two components here, uh, the, the lowercase h plus the Z, that is the gravitational head. Okay, so you can rewrite this equation as minus KH uh, times delta H over delta Z here, uh, and delta Z over delta Z will be equal to one. So minus KH uh, times delta H over delta Z plus one. Okay, and that basically describes uh, flow through the uh, unsaturated uh, soil. Okay, here, as I already mentioned, KH is the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity, and the, the H with the, the lowercase H is metric potential. Okay, and there are several parametric models uh, that can be used to describe uh, metric potential, uh, to describe um, unsaturated hydraulic conductivity as a function of the metric potential or water content. Okay, so if you plot the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity versus metric potential or versus volumetric water content, as I already mentioned, they're related to each other, you see, you get curves uh, like this one that, for example, here, hydraulic conductivity versus metric potential, that the first curve here is for the kind of sandy type material, sandstone, the other one is loam, and the third one, this one, is, is clay type material, okay? And, and you can see here as well, that is for the sandstone, this is for the loam, and this is for the clay material. And as you see here, as vol volumetric water content decreases here, the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity, conductivity decreases, okay? Here is the same, as metric potential gets more negative, uh, pay attention here, the unit is minus centimeter because metric potential is always negative. So you put minus here so you can plot positive value here, right? So as you go toward more negative condition, the hydraulic conductivity, as you can see here, decreases radically. It's a logarithmic scale, okay? So here there are two important messages in this figure. First of all, as you can see here, as the part, the pore, as the pore size decreases, you see here from sandstone, going to clay type material, right? Saturated hydraulic conductivity decreases because saturated hydraulic conductivity is when the metric potential is equal to zero, right? Uh, that means all the pores are filled with, with water. So that means at this point here, you see for sand, the saturated hydraulic conductivity is this one, for loam is this one, and for clay is this one. So when you go toward the finer textured material, the saturated hydraulic conductivity decreases. Why? 
why that happens. That's question number one. And question number two is that you see under the unsaturated condition, for example, somewhere here, the clay type material has higher unsaturated hydraulic conductivity than loam type material and than sand, okay? So, so, so let me repeat it again. When the system is saturated, saturated hydraulic conductivity decreases as you go from sand toward clay. But when the system is unsaturated, the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity increases as you go from sand to clay. In other words, the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity of clay is more than the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity of sand. Okay? So the question is why? Huh? So here I can explain that I can, we can answer these two questions by looking this uh, uh, by looking at this uh, qualitative picture here. So when the system is fully saturated, the coarse textured porous media, let's say sand, they have larger pores compared to the let's say clay type material. Since the pores are larger, right? So therefore you have uh, the, the, the the hydraulic conductivity is more as simple as this. So basically the ability of the medium to transport water is more when the pores are larger. That's why the saturated hydraulic conductivity of um, sand is more than loam, and loam is more than clay. But when the system is unsaturated, right, the, the, the coarse textured material like sand, uh, since, the, since, since it's coarse textured material, the pores are larger, therefore it is easier to drain them. To, to drain those, those large pores. And if you remember in one of the previous lectures, we showed that the, 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 the pressure uh, is inversely proportional to the, to the pore size, okay? So larger pores, therefore, um, uh, it will be easier uh, to drain those pores. While in the case of fine textured material like clay type material, the uh, small pores, when you apply the negative pressure, as you can see here, so here in this direction, you're up, uh, let me throw it one more time, could be a little bit more straight. So you are basically applying negative pressure. So as you apply negative pressure, the fine textured material, there are still a small pores that are filled with water. Therefore, the hydraulic conductivity of the medium is more than the case when the, the system and the porous medium is a coarse textured material. And that's why the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity um, increases when you go from sandy type material to clay type material. Okay. Uh, and um, I guess that is uh, pretty much it. Uh, I hope uh, you uh, found this uh, uh, lecture useful. Thank you.